Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Welcome back. Root Beer here, as always, with more University of Waterloo math contests. This time, we're going to be looking at question 21 from our 2011 Grade 9 Pascal contest. In the diagram, there are 26 levels, labeled A, B, C, D, all the way up to Z. There's one dot on level A, and then each of the levels B, D, F, so they alternate, B, D, and then it would go F, and then they'd skip G and go to H, uh, contain twice as many dots as the level immediately above, so we double. Okay, from A we double to B, and then uh, what do we got? The other ones, C, E, the G that we skipped over, all the way up to Y, so they are telling me that Z is one of these doubling ones, it's kind of interesting. Uh, contain the same number of dots as the level immediately above. So these two dots here are immediately reproduced. But then when we go down to D, they double. And then E, we reproduce them again, and then they would double an F. Okay. How many dots does level Z contain? Now, you might try to draw this out, but I strongly don't recommend it. I mean, just take a look at the answers. The smallest one is 1,024. I mean, if you want to waste the rest of the contest paper doing it just to get the right answer for, for 21, good, I guess. But we can be smarter about this. Now, the, the level C, E, G, nothing really happens there. Okay? But we do know that on B, D, F, and all the way up, we're going to be doubling. Okay? So how many times do we double? How many of those layers are there? So if, we're, if we just want to sort of count those... Uh, for, you know, B, and then D. I'm just going to write the other letters of the alphabet here. Now, there's 26 letters in the alphabet, and it looks like we double on every even uh, layer. So how many of these are there? Well, how many even letters in the alphabet are there? Or not even, po even position letters in the alphabet. Well, there's 26. Half of them must be in an even position. Half of them must be in odd. So 13 layers double the previous layer. All right. Now we start with one, and then we go to our first two. Uh, our, our second layer, so that'll double it to produce two. We double it when we hit D to four, double it with F. Okay. So you notice by the time I hit F, the third layer that I'm doubling, how many dots do I have? Two to the three. Okay. The fourth layer that I double things, It'll be 2 to the 4. So by the 13th layer, we should be all the way down to 2 to the 13. Now, you might know your powers of 2, okay? especially if you're going to uh, be doing a lot of computer science classes in, in university, or not university, in high school, or maybe university. I don't know what you're going to end up doing. Uh, and so you might know 2 to the 13 is 8,192. But of course, if not, just grab your calculator. You're more than welcome to, to uh, plug it in there. We get 8,192, so we go back and we look for that amongst our answers. 8,192 dots in layer Z, and that would be a lot to write out for sure. And that's going to be an answer of D. So that gives us our very first answer uh, to the questions in part C. These ones are worth a little bit more, eight marks each. So up next, we're going to take a look at question number 22. Hopefully we get that right and get eight marks for that, and so on. So I'll see you for more math next time. Until then, take care.